today's video I'm going to be doing a cook with me. We're going to be making pork loin chops, so pork chops with bone in. And I believe some of them don't have a bone in. I could be wrong. But I'm going to show you all the process from start to finish. So like step one, we have the meat here. So pork loin chops assorted. It was 13.32. It comes about six in them. And then this one was 13.42. I got these at marketplace. So I'm gonna go ahead and defrost these and then rinse them out. And I'm gonna be putting them into this pot right here. So we just use like this pot. It's big enough to fit all of them. And then that way they're going to stay in with the spices and stuff overnight. So, yeah, I'll be right back once this is actually edible. And I'm thinking I might use my Super Thaw. I don't know. Stay tuned. Okay, so we have some pork chops on the Super Thaw. Stacked pork chops don't really work on the Super Thaw, by the way. I'll leave my video down below. Doesn't really work. And then we have some pork chops already in the pot so these are ready to go I'm just waiting on these so hopefully they hurry up and go and while this happens I'm gonna go ahead and get the spices off so. alright so we coming over to the shelf I am waiting on my label maker to come in the mail so I a little DIY type of little quick something something so we need to get the black pepper and we need to get the french fry seasoning, garlic powder, a little bit of red crushed pepper, a little parsley flakes, throw in a little bit of chopped onions. And we also need some classic Caesar dressing, some garlic cloves, and some hot chopped peppers. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this while the situation is going on. So the pork chops are now defrosted and they are in the pot. Now we're gonna add in seven cloves of garlic. You can add in less or more depending on to you. All right, and the garlic cloves that we used were the Forelli whole garlic gloves and brine. So I actually have you guys wrapped around my faucet sink with the new tripod I have. So I hope the view is okay. But we're just going to add in some black pepper. And there's about 12 pork chops in total. So you just want to really layer it on like that. I hope you can see it. All right. Then you want to get some red crushed pepper. And you want to just kind of sprinkle it everywhere. Get some garlic powder. Some french fry seasoning because this has salt and paprika. Some chopped onions, a little bit of parsley flakes, get a regular sized tablespoon and we're going to put in pretty much about the rest of the hot crushed peppers. And then we're going to do about two to maybe four tablespoons of classic Caesar. And now we're going to mix it around and then optional, you can add some beer or some wine, white wine if you want, some red wine. But we choose to do some beer, so I'll show that afterwards. 
And of course with every recipe you can feel free to add in more spices and stuff or you can also take some of it out. I added a little bit more of the red crushed pepper, we like spicy food in the house. And of course once you go ahead and you broil these or put these in the oven, I like to put some of the toaster oven, my dad likes to have some of it fried. You know, it takes some of the spiciness out of course, but go ahead and add in ingredients, take out ingredients. I actually decided not to use beer, but again, it's your choice. You can add in, like I said, or take out whatever you wanted. So now I'm going to go ahead and cover this up with saran wrap really nice, put it in the fridge, leave it in for overnight, and then you guys will, with a little YouTube magic, you will see it in a second, but it will be the next day for me. Alright, so the saran wrap is on it. I did it this way and then this way. And so these are going to go into the fridge. And the next time you see them will be tomorrow, right before we prepare them. So it's about 1.51 a.m. So I want to say they're going to be marinating in the fridge for about... 12 to 15 hours maybe I'm actually going to be going out so I might vlog that as well but maybe for like a different type of vlog or for a different type of video so I'm not sure if I'm gonna do like a video slash vlog or like a whole other vlog or if I'm gonna head and just upload the video but I guess you guys will find out soon um so good night pork chops and See you in a second. Well, my whole day. My tomorrow, your second. So, bye. Alright, so I took it out and then I added a little bit more paprika, about four tablespoons, just to get a little extra pizzazz. And they're also going to add in a little bit of some sea salt. So, you want to just cover the top. Like that, and then give it a good mix. And you'll see it once it's done. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye!